Pittsburgh term nebby means poking your nose into somebody else's business. Well, this weekend is your chance to be nebby by looking behind closed doors. The event lets you inside some of Pittsburgh's iconic buildings, places you may have never been before, as well as new buildings popping up around town. It's called Doors Open Pittsburgh. And here to tell us about this giant open house is founder and executive director Bonnie Baxter. Good morning. Hi, thank you so much. We Good are morning. so happy to have you here talking you. about Doors Open again. Um, why, it, why do Pittsburghers love to be nebby? <laughs> I, you know, I think it's our birthright. I, I don't, I don't, I don't have any other explanation for it. But we certainly do love to be nebby. So, I mean, even on our street, if there's an open yeah. house or someone just sold their house, yes. everybody wants to go in, yes, and look I know. <laughs> and act like we're trying to, you know, buy it. Right, yeah. right. But this is a great event, and it allows people to do that um, yes. without, again, being arrested for yes. trespassing we don't want or getting in trouble. Getting those kind of problems, exactly. So you say there's three different components of this, and it's yeah. coming up October 6th and 7th. Tell yeah. us what happens. Great. So this weekend, Saturday, Saturday and Sunday, from 10 to 4, there are three different things happening with Doors Open Pittsburgh this year. The first and foremost is the general event, which of course is the uh, the buildings that people have uh, unfettered access to once they buy their general event ticket. This year we're going to have 48 buildings across two Great. neighborhoods, downtown and the north side. And then the second component is something called insider tours. They're very different than the general event in that they are curated um, specific guided tours. And we have about 18 of those and they're being presented by uh, local organizations, for-profits and non-profits, a whole litany of different themes and topics. And then a brand new experience that we're adding this year is something called DOP at the Square. It's an exhibitor space in Market Square. Obviously, that is free and open to the public. Mm -hmm. We will also have our event center there, but there's some really, really wonderful organizations that will be showcasing themselves at, at Market Square. And we'll be happy to be there as well. We have yes. our KDK weather, uh, mobile weather lab. That we'll exactly. Set up. You guys will be there on Sunday, and uh, you know that'll be a lot of fun for people to see the inside of that be. truck. And Market Square is always a good time, too. It is. So how do you narrow down? How do you pick these 48 buildings? Yeah, that's a good you know, and that's the, the wonderful thing about Doors Open is my Doors Open experience could be completely different than yours. So what we suggest strongly is people go to the website, doorsopenpgh.org. There's a page called Building List. When they click on that, they can sort buildings by neighborhood, by the time of day that they're open, and then they can read a little bit about what experience they're going to have in that building. And then they just create their own list and go and see and have fun. So if I buy a general admission ticket, yep. I can create my own guide. And exactly. It, when I get into those buildings, is there someone there to kind of help me through? Yes. Yes, we have, gratefully, I'm so grateful for these folks, we have 288 people that have signed up to be wow. volunteer. They've all been trained in the past week. They will be wearing a bright orange Doors Open t-shirt. They will be your point of reference when you come in. They will greet you. They will check your tickets, and then you'll be passed through to have your experience. So what kind of access do you have to these buildings? Uh, in some cases, you have behind-the-scenes access. The mayor will be open, opening his personal office, so you can literally stand you know, behind his desk. You can visit the press room. Other buildings, uh, it's really just the opportunity to get in and explore uh, the Omni William Penn will be opening their speakeasy. So uh, Bob Page, the general manager there, he does a phenomenal job explaining the whole history of prohibition in Pittsburgh and how it Very all cool. started. So. And so um, the second component of it, where you kind of get that more one-on-one -on -one feel, what happens yeah. there with that with that ticket? Sure, that's a completely different experience. They're okay. called insider tours, and they are. They are com traditional thematic tour experiences. In the organizations that are working with Doors Open, they have curated it, and, and they are going to be hosting those tour experiences. We have everything. We have a tour called Notorious Pittsburgh, and it talks about kind of the seedier side of Pittsburgh. We go from there all the way to modern architecture, classic architecture, uh, the 2030 district be highlighted, of course. So again, there's about 18 choices for people to make on those on those insider tours. And Bonnie, I know this is your baby. You created this yeah. event. Why, <laughs> why did you want to do this and offer this to people? Um, you know, after having the experience of walking through an event like this in Chicago years ago, I thought, you know, the, the, I, I was blown away by it. And I thought, you know, it really needs to come to Pittsburgh. So it's sort of, you're right. It's been my sort of my passion the last couple of years. And it's been very well received. We have a, had over 5,000 visitors last year. So hoping to have more people engage with this event this coming weekend. And really educational because you learn, as you mentioned, even about prohibition or other yes. things that have happened in those buildings. Yes. Is there one or a few buildings that you're really excited about this year? Yeah, we have a brand, uh, we have three new buildings this year. The Allegheny Inn in the north side. We have the uh, corporate headquarters for Q Development over also in, in the north side. And there's some wonderful elements to that building uh, that are comprised of um, uh, uh, makers. Some of the makers here in Pittsburgh, like the staircase was, was repurposed wood. And they're going to talk about that story. Um, there's also a co-share office space called Beauty Shop, which opened in the pit building. 
building, which is just an amazing space. So um, uh, aesthetically, I, I enjoy that. But again, we have a lot of the old favorites that are coming back. Oh, so great. Thank you so much, Thank Bonnie. Thank you so much. I appreciate and it. Thanks for allowing us a weekend to be truly nebby. We You're appreciate welcome. it. <laughs> Doors open is this Saturday and Sunday. Come one day or both to explore and experience iconic and newly designed buildings in Pittsburgh. You can go to kdka.com slash PTL for additional details and tickets and find out more about volunteer opportunities.